Hi there, it's Austin. Um, I wanted to share with you a concept that I've sort of come up with lately or read about, thought about lately, that I think is really cool and meaningful to think about in the situation of shifting identities or changing in really any form. Um, but of course, I think about it, this concept, in the context of being trans and changing identities that way. Um, so, um, this concept that I like, that I want to share with you, is completely summed up in um, this piece of writing that I read recently by the author Rob Bresny, and I'll see if I can post a link to it in the box below, uh, the description box, the about box. Okay, so this is what Rob Bresny wrote. Try this meditation. Imagine that you are the wood and the fire that consumes the wood. First, focus your awareness on the part of you that is the wood. You may tremble or gasp, feeling the jolt of your solidity disintegrating, your form changing. As you shift your attention to the part of you that is the fire, you may exult in the wild joy of power and liberation. It may be tempting to favor the fire over the wood, to love the burning more than the being burned. But if you'd like to have understanding in its fullness, you've got to appreciate them equally. Can you imagine yourself being the fire and wood simultaneously? Is it possible for you to experience the deep pleasure of their collaboration? So, I really like that. It's just cool to think about um, being in two states at the same time. Like, for example, being kind of female or like having the whole past of my life in which I was female or trying to be a girl. Um, being, like, consumed and burned up and sort of uh, taken away or made to not vanish, but, like, change form drastically because of the fire, which I view as, like, my newer identity or the identity that has always been there but that I haven't been able to really fully access until now. Having both of those going on at the same time and acknowledging both, feeling both, um, which is sort of kind of um, energy consuming and strange and paradoxical in the same way that you would feel the paradox of being the wood and the fire at the same time. But I like the metaphor. Um, and that's really how it feels to me. That's how I've been feeling. Um, it's almost like painful and liberating at the same time. Hmm. Um, but anyway, this concept and that metaphor of the fire and the wood really reminded me of a poem that I have really liked for a while, which was originally shared with me by a very special friend, you know who you are, if that's you. Um, so I'd like to read you this poem. Um, you know, I am an English teacher after all. So this poem is called Song, and it's by the American poet Adrian Rich. And I will read it now. You're wondering if I'm lonely. Okay then, yes, I'm lonely as a plane rides lonely and level on its radio beam, aiming across the Rockies for the blue-strung aisles of an airfield on the ocean. You want to ask, am I lonely? Well, of course, lonely as a woman driving across country day after day, leaving behind, mile after mile, little towns she might have stopped and lived and died in. Lonely. If I'm lonely... It must be the loneliness of waking first, of breathing dawn's first cold breath on the city, 
of being the one awake in a house wrapped in sleep. If I'm lonely, it's with the rowboat, ice fast on the shore in the last red light of the year, that knows what it is, that knows it's neither ice nor mud nor winter light, but wood with a gift for burning. That's a powerful one. I like that one. And again, that was called The Song by Adrian Rich. I'll see if I can perhaps post that in the About box as well. Um, so, there's so much I can say about the poem. I don't know if I want to ramble about my interpretations right now or just leave you to think about it yourself. Um, I'll say a tiny bit, because I can't help it. Um, yeah, so I like the image of the plane in the first stanza. Like, I'm lonely as a plane rides, lonely and level, aiming across the Rockies. You know, like the concept of a journey going someplace, even if you're by yourself. Um, and I feel like that also kind of relates to my tattoo. Uh, here we go, bringing in another connection, because it's a compass. So it's like um, direction for the purpose of going someplace or knowing where you are. And then I also like, uh, among other things, the part in the last half of the poem that mentions the loneliness of waking first, of being the one awake in a house wrapped in sleep. Because recently, in the last few months when I've been, like, accepting that I'm trans, it really feels like waking up. It really does. Like, I feel much more awake now than in the past about my knowledge of myself, and about how I view the world and how I interact with the world, much more awake. So I like that part of the poem. Um, and then also the part in the last stanza seems perfect to me, where she writes, uh, she mentions the rowboat that knows what it is, that knows it's neither those things, but that it's wood with the gift for burning. It knows what it is. Um, and, of course, as you could imagine, that's how I feel, too, now. I like that. It's just very powerful, very cool. So, um, yeah, just thought I would share that metaphor, those pieces of writing with you in case you find it interesting or meaningful. Um, so, let me know if you do. I'd be interested to hear your comments. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.